Da, da, mașina. Mașina, mașina. Yes, mașina. Vrum, vrum. Oh, oh, no. Not, not, not the car. The machines at Hess Farm where, where we kidnapped you. Guys, please. You give me a headache, both of you. Oh, hold on, please. One minute. Hey, I am making progress. Progress. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, the worst day. You know, you think you're finally making progress at work, and then your boss calls you Raquel. <laughs> How's that, Miss Grundy? Very good. You're making wonderful progress, Ben. Do you come by tomorrow, then? Absolutely. Wow. We are going to make a lot of money. I don't even... Uh, $2,000? Oh, it's the going? No, you won't. Listen to me. This is not your problem, okay? Go. Win. Make money. That's what I'm gonna do. I gotta admit, I'm really impressed that you got all these people here, but they, um, they don't really look like house buyers. Dad, you have no idea who has money anymore. You see that girl? She makes six figures playing video games. And that dude? He invented an app for trashing your friends called AppSmear. Oh. Any one of these people could buy this house, and if they do, you give us a percentage of your commission. That's how we make money. Welcome to the North Shore High School Winter Talent Show. Let me hear you make some noise. Females use their nose to stay alive. They make sure they have cover. They always remember they're trying to stay alive. Bucks go off by themselves. Books get dumb during mating season. Boys make too much noise. <laughs> Quiet! What does a deer say? <coughs> that is not what a deer says. If it says anything, it sounds like this. Are you kidding me? That's not a horse. It is from the horse family. Just make the noise. Yeah, I think I hear something over here. <gasps> So what's everybody got going on tonight? Any fun plans? I was thinking of walking the aisles at Target to see if I can make any new friends. <laughs> you want to make new friends, you ought to come to the bowling alley. Watch me crush some pins. <laughs> and the X-Men use of the word douchebag. Well, I've had a lot of experience with them. As have I. I don't make friends very easily. That's funny, when I was a kid, Just want you to know I did all your work for you while you were gone. I don't think Kat even noticed a difference. You know what? I tried giving you the benefit of the doubt. I tried being nice, but I don't like you. <laughs> I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to be the next Cat Grant. All I'm saying is, I'm tired of everybody around me making all the decisions. This time, I lead. Seriously. If I don't start making decisions, I'm out. All right, Roman. What do you got? We have a problem with the people around you. Paul is out. I fired him. On what pretext? Villainy. What else? Bob Geldof. I called to convince him to squeeze you guys into the lineup for the Live Aid concert, but he wants an answer now. You have to make a decision. We need a strong momentum right up until the last minute. You can't operate based on plans you haven't shared with me then you should have asked me first. No, I'm not going to ask for your blessing on every decision I make, Francis. We make decisions together. Yeah, well, it hasn't felt like that, not for the past six months. Can't let this happen anymore. Oh, you're making a mistake. Okay, Zoom is a nightmare you can't wake up from. Oh, now listen to me. Listen, listen, I'm speaking as your father. Whatever our differences have been in the past, you gotta listen to me now. You're making a terrible mistake. You cannot win this case. You're gonna ruin your career. Why, for what? You're making a mistake. I'll be back when I'm back. I don't care, make an excuse. No, no one gets to see this. Hi, Dana. Hi. Goodness, you are so late. 
I am? You're right. You're absolutely right, Dana. I'm three minutes late. Hey, do you work at the excuse factory? I wasn't making an excuse. I was just agreeing that I was a little... Well, I think that you're saying this is an excuse factory. Listen, I'll make an excuse, then we'll get you that tasty shawarm. Uh, Grandpa, we gotta take off. I have a little emergency here. Uh, I was flying my kite that's shaped like a shark, and it got stuck in a tree. So we're gonna... I go got through. stuck in a tree once. In Korea. Look, Blair, I'm really trying to make an effort here. I thought everything was good between us. It was. Before I found out you had sex with my boyfriend. Do you feel disgusted and uneasy with your current butter? Make an effort. Make a decision. Don't make mistakes. Gary, you've been coming up with some really intense copy lately. Don't get me wrong. The butter is flying off the shelves, but... Is everything okay? Really, fingerprints? Are you, are you nuts? No, I'm not nuts, Paul. But I am both fed up with the defeatist attitude, okay? Now grow those fucking hands. Now. You need to be more positive, Paul. Just make a positive effort. If we move just one floor lower. Ted, everything's fine. I got it all under control, and nobody needs to move. I'm sorry, Ted? Yes. Is it Ted? Did Ted make an appointment? No, I just worked on the hall. No. Line. Well, then Ted can get the hell out of this office. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Detective Breyer? Did you just call my office? Yeah, I was hoping to talk to you. Oh, I don't have time right now. Sorry. It'd just take a couple of seconds. It's about your husband. Well, fine, but make an appointment. Tell anyone about this encounter, and Luke dies. What do you want? You're going to make an appointment with the president. And when you're face to face with Kirkman, you will do exactly as I instruct. Good question. Let's just say Meryl and I have a, we have a good relationship. You have a good relationship with Meryl Lynch. I've been to, we've been doing business together for a long time. And so time. the CDOs that you create are of, of the highest quality and the highest of value. Absolutely. Absolutely. Surely, 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 sweet, innocent, surely. What was the question? Look, this was Britta's stupid idea. I'd rather be with my man planning my wedding and you'd clearly rather be with Halle Berry in 1999. Pleasure not doing business with you. It's not. T-Mobile, two years, and fuck do I regret that one. Do me a favor, don't quit or get fired before the year is up because otherwise I don't get my bonus. Wait, I can leave whenever I want? What's the point of this contract? Just sign the damn thing. Okay. Nice doing business with you, Dylan Harper. You're doing awesome, buddy. You really are. Hey, so where's my science project? Oh, I didn't do it. What? But it's due today. Yeah. That's yeah. so unfair. I know, I know. I'm so sorry, but you're gonna actually have to start doing your own homework from now on. So, did you do the homework? You know, I didn't do the homework. The question on everybody's Kiwi lips is, did you do the homework? No. I'm one of the founding members of the Homework Rebellion. Finally found Shank's car. Let's jack this ride. Oh yeah, dirty socks. It's on. Again, are you? No, Grandma! I'm doing my homework! Okay, like I said, let's jack this ride. Oh, hey, do me a favor, grab my butt! Oh, that feels bad. Hey, nausea, chills, suspense. IV bag. All right, vitals first, and I decide what to give you, okay? Oh, ew. You're new. Put the IV in the left arm. It's where the good veins are. Start with a liter of saline and push it hard. I'm dehydrated. And do me a favor, if you're an intern or like dumb, get help. Mr. Brown, would you mind doing me a quick favor? Uh, excuse me. I, are, are you doing laundry? Huh? Just, uh, I wondered if you had any change. The machine is out. 
can't help you. Sorry. Okay. Hey, Sheldon. Hello. Doing laundry? <laughs> Of course I'm doing laundry. Saturday night is laundry night, and I'm in a laundry room, so I believe your inference is justified. Uh, hey, she's about to nap for an hour, so what can I tackle? You think this place still looks like a dump? I could maybe hang up a few posters or something. But I was only planning to do laundry. Nah, just help me fold this stuff. I gotta take food up to Etta. Yeah, sure. The dishwasher's broken. Lupita! Maybe if you spend a little more time around here, you might know that. Would you please do the dishes? My chin is broke. I know that. That's why I'd like you to do the dishes. <laughs> oh, no. Forgot this. Honey, put on gloves if you're gonna do the dishes. Great. Eleanor, why don't she you She never does the dishes. I have to do them all the time. We just have different interests. Mm -hmm. I like relaxing. He likes getting on my case about the dishes. I'm getting a lot of repressed anger. Lenny. Sorry. No. It's me that should be apologizing. It's not that I don't want to. But believe me. But until you and Stuart clear up your situation, I think it would do more harm than good for all of us. <laughs> Why do you have to be so damn honorable? I have actual patients waiting for me. You need to go? <sighs> Look, there is someone out there doing a lot of harm to a lot of people, and as crazy as it sounds, Sue Fentanyl is my only chance at stopping him. For all of us. But I assure you, I am trying to do as little harm as possible. But you should know, Dr. Toffet has died. Let's go do some damage. Let the dragon move nope. What the hell is that? LRB, Little River Band. This music makes me feel like I'm going shopping for a training bra. You know what? Some damage. 